Hey guys, it's Miss Pahutsky here with another round of percent of a number problems. Uh, two weeks ago, Miss Carney went over uh, using equations to solve these problems, and we're going to review them today and look at one more way we can take a percent of a number problem, set up an equation, and solve. So get your paper and pencil together and a calculator to check, and we'll be ready to roll. Okay, so let's review our translation. Percent, remember, is out of 100. Of means to multiply. A number, if we don't know it, we substitute in a variable like x. Is means equals. And another number, uh, again, if we don't know what it is, we substitute in a variable like y. Mrs. Carney reviewed with you finding the part and finding the percent from lesson 6-5. Finding the part would be an example like, what is 12% of 6 and 75 hundredths? Where we're looking for the part. So we would change 12% to a decimal, 12 hundredths, of to multiplication, and our number six and 75 hundredths. We would multiply these to find our answer. So y equals 12 hundredths times six and 75 hundredths. We get 81 hundredths. So 12% of six and 75 hundredths is 81 hundredths. Mrs. Carney also reviewed Finding the percent. What percent of 65 is 13? So we have our percent times 65 equals 13. We substitute in a value here. Uh, of a variable, n times 65 equals 13. We would divide both sides by 65, and n equals 13 divided by 65. Is one fifth because 13 divided by 13 is 1, 65 divided by 13 is 5. So we have 1 fifth. Well, 1 fifth is the same as 20 hundredths, which is 20%. Now I went rather quickly through those two, but again, remember they were a review, and hopefully you remember 1 fifth as one of, as one of those friendly fractions you can easily get to 20 hundredths, which is 20%. So this week we're gonna be looking at a new equation with percent of a number where we're finding the whole. And this is lesson 6.6 .6 in your book. So we wanna look at finding the whole. We would look at an example as 150% of a number is 12. So we want to find this whole. So if we translate it with our information from above, we would get 1 and 5 tenths, remember change your percent to a decimal, times a number x is equals 12. So we have 1 and 5 tenths x equals 12. Remember, just like in finding the percent here, we're going to divide both sides by 1 and 5 tenths and find the value of x. So 1 and 5 tenths goes into 12 
Move our decimal point one place and one place and bring it up into our quotient. 15 cannot go into 12, but it can go into 120. How many times? We have 15, 30, 45, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 60, four times, and two 60s are 120, so two fours are eight. Eight times 15 is 120. So X is equal to eight. So if we look at our equation in full, we know that 150% of eight is 12. Okay, 100% of eight is eight. 50%, oh, let me slide it up so you can see, of eight is four. And eight plus four is 12. So a way we can check using information that we know from previous lessons again. Okay, so let's practice some more and then we'll get into the examples in our book. Okay, so we're gonna take one more look at percent of a number review from lesson six, five, finding the part where we're given 20% of 45 we change our percent to a decimal and multiply by our number 45 times 20 hundredths. Move our decimal is 9. So 20% of 45 is. Nine. Okay, the other review from lesson 6.5 is finding the percent. So what percent of 20 is three? We need to figure out our percent times 20 equals three. And remember to do this, we divide both sides by 20 and our n percent is 3 divided by 20. We do our long division. 20 cannot go into 3, but it can go into 30 one time. We have 10 left over. Bring down our 0. 20 can go into 100. Remember, 5 times. 5 times 20 is 100. So n percent is 15 hundredths. And remember, percent means out of 100. So 15 hundredths is 15%. So 15% of 20 equals three. All right, so our new lesson, lesson 6.6, .6, is looking at finding the whole. So we're given a percent of something equals a number. and We need to find that something. Okay, so now looking at our examples from lesson 6.6, .6, we're finding the whole. So we still want to use our equations we've been using to set up to solve for our missing piece. So in example one, we're looking at 90% of what number is 135? So we have 90% of means multiply. What number is our variable x? Is means equals 135 as our part. Okay, so remember, we change our percent to a decimal. 90% is 90 hundredths times x equals 135. And remember our inverse operations. So to find the value of x, we wanna do the opposite of multiplying, which is, you got it, dividing. 
and we're gonna divide both sides by that 90 hundredths. On both sides, it's both sides of that equal sign. So we can split that through the equal sign. So we know we're working on both sides of the equation. All right, so 90 hundredths divided by 90 hundredths are one. So X is equal to, and then we're gonna go ahead and do our division. 90 hundredths divided by 130, or divided into rather, 135. So we move our decimal point and complete our division. 90 can go into 135 one time, subtract, and we have 45 left over. So 90 goes into 450. Let's see, five times, five times 90 is 450. And we still have this zero to bring down and we can't go into that. So we bring our zero up. So X is equal to 150. So 90% of 150 equals 135. And we can do some check checking with this. Uh, we know again from our previous lessons, 90% of 150, we would take and make 150 times 90 hundredths. We can multiply this out. Bring our decimal point over, we get 135, so it checks. All right, and then we can also find our percent. And we can find our percent by dividing our part and our whole. All right. We can go through and uh, notice that both um, the numerator and denominator end in a zero or five, which means they're divisible by five. So we can divide them by five. And when we divide them each by five, we have 27 thirtieths. And then we know 27 and 30 are both divisible by three. And when we divide them both by three, we get nine tenths. And nine tenths is equal to 90%. So it again checks. Okay. Okay, so looking at, at example two from lesson 6.6, .6, we have 200% times N equals 40. Okay, so again, we're gonna take and make that percent a decimal, move our decimal point two places to the left. We have two times N equals 40. All right, and we know what we multiply two by to get 40, right? We multiply by 20, two times 20 equals 40. So our number would be 20, all right? We can always use our mental math skills to figure some of these out as well. All right, nice job. One more example and then we'll look at um, completing questions five through 15 in our books.